Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day you are watching this video. Um, welcome to Oceanography 100. My name is Mallory Redman and I will be your instructor for this hybrid course. Um, so this is our very first video for the class. Um, my intention is to um, run this hybrid course in where the for the first week of classes or for the first part of week of the week, excuse me, you will um, have videos to watch that I will record for you. And then that will basically take the place of being a lecture. And then you'll have a little assignment to do um, to answer on the video. And then on Thursday, when we meet in person, then we can either discuss what was talked about in the early in the week material or just keep on keeping on um, with the uh, the rest of whatever we needed to cover for that week. So for today's video, I wanted to provide a bit of a short introduction of myself. Um, you know, some some quick, quick and dirty little things in terms of uh, how to contact me, how to participate in the class um and and things like that i already have separate videos for canvas and for connect so i don't want to um, go too deeply into that just yet um and you know when we have some of our first assignments on connect then i'll then i'll go ahead and um, make separate videos or go over in class for that stuff but um for today we'll keep it um nice and simple um and yeah so that's that's the jam for for what we have going on here. So welcome to our first lecture. So again, just some of the things that I want to cover in our first several videos. So the idea with these videos, I'm not gonna make like an hour and 15 minute long video. Um, I have a 15 minute limit with the, the software that I use called Screencast-O-Matic. So you'll the very most to get several 15 minute videos that you'll have to watch. Um, uh, so that's kind of the, the jam with that. So. Um, some important announcements just in general. Um, you got to check your email, y'all, and Canvas. I know that we get so many emails from Canvas on the regular. You can set your notifications to change when you get those emails or what you get those emails for. I would personally just keep them how they are um, just so you don't miss anything. But if you do decide to change your notification settings, then do be proactive on checking Canvas regularly. It's how I get a hold of you. It's how I post announcements. Um, it's where you'll be able to see when you have assignments due uh, and things like that. So that's kind of the, you know, the main thing here, right? Is it's, you have to be proactive uh, in, in getting this information. Um, and this class is a hybrid class. So that means that we're gonna be meeting once a week in person and then the rest of the material will be online. Uh, you may find that this is gonna be a bit of work and quite frankly, it is gonna be a bit of work because you're kind of doing a little bit extra outside of having um, two in-person classes. You're just having one and then you have to do what you would do um, in class um, on your own time. So just be prepared for that, right? Um, so my idea here is to have the beginning of the week materials recorded and then you're gonna be required to watch those and um, have a short assignment about that that will be due before class on Thursdays. And this is gonna be one part of the course that I'm not gonna allow late turn-ins, right? Because it's your responsibility to complete the assignment before Thursday's class because it's gonna build, right? Everything is going to build up to Thursday. So if you miss that work, um, then that's, you know, it's not necessarily on me. Okay. So do kind of keep that in mind and I'll do my best to make sure that, uh, I have the material available for you in a decent amount of time. I think the, the main thing is for this first week is instead of, um, instead of the assignment perhaps being due on Thursday, I think I will extend a little bit to Sunday just because we'll have some late ads and, and things like that. And I know the first week can be a little bit crazy. So just trying to keep those things in mind. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about that, please just let me know. Um, and if you find that this isn't really your faux pas, you know what, I'm teaching the online synchronous course for Kenyatta and it's the same exact course, but just taught in a different format. Okay. So if you find this isn't for you, you can make the switch. No problem. 
Um, so just some brief information on how to contact me. You can call me Mallory, Miss Redmond, Miss R, Mal, whatever floats your boat. I'm very um, open uh, to whatever you call me. I work in a bar, so I've, I'm called a lot of things all the time. Uh, <laughs> um, and here are my office hours, Tuesdays from 1230 to 330 and Fridays from 10 to 11. If you so happened, or if you so happen to be on Skyline campus on Friday mornings, I teach the Ocean 101 class on that day there. And so um, if you want to pop by in person, I'll be there. If not, again, it'll be virtual, no problem. For my cell phone, please only use this in terms of uh, technological emergencies. Um, I've only had one person <laughs> uh, in my three years of providing my cell phone to abuse this, so please don't abuse it. Um, and uh, yeah, so the best way to get a hold of me is through email or through text message. Um, if you do email me, please let me know what class you're in. I teach six classes, so I have a lot of students. So if you could please just let me know who you are, what class you're in, that would be great. Thank you so much. How to participate in this class, so please do attend in-person classes when you can, but please don't come to school when you're sick, that's gross. Um, you can do this so that you can ask questions, engage with myself and your fellow classmates, something called active learning, and the more you active learn, the more you retain. It's not just crazy memorization and things like that. Um, Canvas and Connect are going to be very, very important, so um, Connect is where you're going to find the bulk of your assignments. Canvas is where you're gonna find the other part of your assignments. Um, Connect also has your textbook, right? So um, that's a very, very important feature there. Speaking of your textbook, this is an, an inclusive access class. This means that you can uh, access the textbook through Canvas. It's really cool, it's called McGraw-Hill Connect. Um, so you'll see your homework assignments, your exams, and with something called smart book reading assignments, those are all encapsulated in um, Connect and are all part of your grade. You're already charged for it. You don't have to buy the book separately. If you are someone who would prefer a hard copy of the book, you're more than welcome to rent um, a copy of it, or maybe the library has a copy of it. I'm not sure. Um, or you can you know, rent or get a copy of a previous editions. It doesn't have to be the third edition, but you already have access to um, the third edition online. So just a, uh, a couple of uh, reminders for what is due this Sunday, no matter what. Um, you have a little syllabus quiz, so I'm not going to go through the whole syllabus. Um, I have full capability or I have full faith in your reading capabilities or listening capabilities depending on, um, depending on your um, accessibility. But go through that, read it very carefully, then take that little quiz. Then a couple of um, uh, get to know you things, though I think actually, oh no, I, we did do an icebreaker flip grid, that's right. Um, so there's that, and a pre-assessment survey, an anonymous tech survey. Um, this little tech survey here is just so I can see what you have access to. Um, another question that is involved in this is actually, um, is, uh, a couple of questions where you can give me a couple of your favorite songs right now. And this is because I'm going to create a playlist um, that I'll play before classes um, just to kind of, you know, not have a silent classroom. It always kind of freaks me out. So no silent classrooms <laughs> um, here. And then this uh, last little bit is something called Homework One. Um, and this is a states slash continents quiz. So let me show you exactly what that means. Let me pull up our um, Canvas page here for just a sec. Um, so here's our Canvas page just to kind of get you a little oriented with it. Um, this is the main page here. You know how to get a hold of me. You have your syllabus, course schedule, um, and things like that here. These are also in other places on Canvas. I just have them in like three places so you can see them. Uh, but if you go to modules, this is going to be like the main button that you want to click on. So you'll see how I have the Canvas page sectioned out um, in your first week's to do, but just quickly to, uh, to show you what this first homework is. So this is something called, and I'll put this in student view so you'll see how you see it. Um, oh yes, okay, sorry, this reminds me. 
So you have to have looked through this first module before you can access the first week's to do's. So that means that you have to go through this first page and then read through that. And then simply on this bottom right hand side, just click on next and you'll go through these other pages here. Okay. So once you've done that, then you can go and access the first couple of assignments here. So for the first one, States World Quiz, if you click on these two links, one is a Worlds and Oceans and Continents quiz, the other is a United States States quiz. I'm not gonna grade you on how well or not well you do. Um, these are simply to reorient yourself with um, the planet. <laughs> um, so for example, when I clicked on that link, it says click on North America. I'm like, okay, North America's there. Yay. Click on Europe. Is this Europe? No. Okay. Click on Europe. Ah, oh, there it is. Um, and it'll ask you also for um, some of the oceans. This should work by the way, whether or not you're on a laptop, a phone, a tablet, whatever, um, it will work wherever you go. And then once you've completed it, then you'll just take a screenshot. And in here I have um, some resources on how to take a screenshot if you were unaware. Um, and you'll complete that and the United States states as well. And I encourage you to not use a map. Um, try and do it by memory. Again, I'm not going to um, uh, judge you or grade you on how well or not well you do. But to submit the assignment, you're going to go up here to this blue button so called uh, Start the Assignment, and this little doohickey pops up here, and you can um, add files from either your Google Drive um, through a file upload. Like, say I'm going to upload a picture. So I think I have pictures here. Yeah, okay, so here's a picture. Okay, I'll put that in. Add another file, because we want to add two whole files, right? So I click on that Add Another File button, and I do Upload File, Choose File, and I'll just choose another picture. Yay, open. Okay, there it is. And then I'll say submit assignment. You can add a comment or two if you want. No big deal. You also don't have to. That is not required. Um, but then you'll submit it. And then huzzah, it is submitted. Yay. So you can do a new attempt. You can make sure that the pictures you downloaded were the correct ones. You can click on submission details and add further comments here if you want. No big deal. And you can also see the rubric. Right, so uh, I really try and utilize rubrics quite a bit in this class so that you know exactly what I'm gonna be grading you on. Um, but that's kind of the, that is the dealio with that. So be sure to get yourself oriented with the Canvas page, how I set things up. Um, I think there might be some minor differences from the initial video that I had in the first announcement. Right, if you go to our welcome announcements here, right? So I have a Canvas introduction and a Connect introduction. There might be some minor differences there. Um, so keep an eye uh, or give, give those a watch and orient yourselves. If you have any questions um, on anything or need a walkthrough of anything, please, please, please feel free to, um, to holler at me and let me know. And then a quick little fun fact about me, just to be sure that you know, uh, you know, or that you uh, have watched this video, is I unashamedly and very much love um, Pink. <laughs> She's one of my favorite artists, and I have VIP tickets to see her in October of this year, and I'm very, very excited about it. Stay tuned for the next video, um, giving you a little bit more introduction of myself. All right, thanks. Ah.